Welcome back to Nile Cruise Cairo. Of course, dear viewers, was founded in the year 969 by Jawhar Asqili of the Fatimid dynasty. Uh, Cairo is full of Islamic monuments, uh, obviously. Islamic Cairo, also called historic Cairo or medieval Cairo, refers uh, generally to the historic areas of Cairo that existed before the city's modern expansion during the 19th and 20th century, particularly the central parts around uh, uh, the old walled city and around the citadel of Cairo. The name Islamic Cairo refers to the city's rich history and heritage since its foundation in the early period of Islam, where uh, distinguishing it from the nearby ancient Egyptian sites of Giza and Memphis. This area holds one of the largest and densest concentrations of historic architecture in the Islamic world. It is characterized by hundreds of mosques, tombs, madrasas, uh, mansions, um, and fortifications uh, dating uh, from throughout the Islamic era of, uh, of Egypt. Um, of course, uh, Arabesque is one of the, of the, uh, the features of, of Islamic art. And with us now here uh, on Nile Cruise is Dr. Muhammad Adib, who is the head of the Egyptian Association for Arabesque and Mashrabiya. Dr. Adib, yes, pleasure hello. to have you with us. Welcome. Thank you for being Welcome here. Welcome for all of you. And very good, good day, Dr. Mohammed. It's a pleasure to have you with us in today's episode, of course, yes, of yes, um, yes. Nile Cruise. Dr. Mohammed, we start off and uh, discuss more about Arabesque as we're in the Islamic Museum today. Um, could you please define the word Arabesque and the importance of Arabesque in our, in our Egyptian culture? Oh, actually, the word Arabesque, it has an extension for uh, French and Spanish uh, origin, and uh, uh, it is mean that it is a, a, a decoration uh, which it has an, a pattern of Islamic, mainly which it is used uh, uh, leaves and flowers uh, with special amalgamation of, of all of this uh, with the uh, 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 Islamic uh, personality and Islamic. Uh, identity, which it has, uh, 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 can be have a, a repetition on different sites. Whether this is in mosques, in in buildings, in uh, columns. Right. So, uh, Doctor Adib, uh, uh, w when did uh, the the art of arabesque exactly start? Actually, according to the historical background, is from in the uh, 15th century and 16th century. Mm. And uh, it has extended uh, this art to the uh, in Andalus and to Spanish. And uh, it has an extension for European civilization. And that's why you find that uh, uh, they are using the uh, uh, Egyptian and uh, Islamic artists in the building and the decoration of palaces in, in Osmanian and the Atrak and Turkish and uh, Iran and all of these places. So actually, it has an a deep uh, extension Do of we know Islamic where exactly, personality. Do you know where exactly it started? 15th century. No, no, I mean, where, where? The country that yes, Arab is in Al Jazeera, Al Jazeera, Al Arabiya, okay. and uh, mainly of uh, the uh, uh, zone of uh, Egypt and the River Nile and all of uh, this area, which okay. it is, was started, and it has an extension to Syria, extension to Iran, extension to uh, Andal and Andalus and the Spanish uh, Morocco. Well, uh, anyone will visit all of these mosques and uh, visit these uh, uh, palaces. You find the Arabesque de decoration in the walls and in buildings and uh, Sir, um, Dr. Mohammed, the importance of Arabesque in, uh, of course, our Egyptian identity and, of course, in the Islamic identity. Could you please tell us more about it? Yes, it is a very important question and uh, you can uh, say that it is uh, different from the Coptic and uh, uh, other religion. If you find the, uh, uh, the definition which we said, it has an, a repetition. And the repetition, it is for the uh, uh, limitless 
near to link for God, our God. So you find that we have an, a repetition of the decoration, whatever these leaves or flowers and all of them. Uh, this is the first. Second, uh, the um, Islamic artist using the flowers means that he will not die. It will not have falling of the leaves. It is forever. So all of this has an extension of our religion. And mm -hmm. that's why it is, to answer your question, it is uh, uh, related, it is uh, mainly the uh, 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 organic extension for our uh, Islamic uh, particles and the good stones. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, Dr. Adib, uh, in the um, Museum of Islamic Art, where we are now, mm -hmm. and where, where we are lucky to be filming, mm -hmm. Um, where can we find, in, in which sections, departments, and what, where and what can we find uh, yes. a concern? Very, errors? very important question, and I'm uh, one of the very uh, f famous, my, I and my uh, society uh, have uh, many meetings here. It has a full of Arabic, and any visitors, whether this is from uh, in Egypt or in Middle East or foreigners, there is many foreigners. They are coming here. You find that they are in the uh, uh, interior of the mosque, interior of the walls, mm. uh, uh, in the in the top of columns. You find you find on the ceramic. You have uh, uh, many uh, vitrines and the containers which have uh, ceramic and the buildings and the walls. Huh? And a very important uh, thing is that you find all, not only in the uh, in the mosques. You find also on the churches and present in the uh, wow. Coptic Museum. Wow. Ah, yes. It, uh, because they are using the uh, uh, Islamic artists for helping them. So you find that Arabesque also, it has an extension in the Coptic uh, heritage. Very interesting. Dr. Muhammad, um, the relation between you uh, being a doctor mm -hmm and uh, being a member of an association related to arabesque and something that's culture in this country and of course how does this association work on protecting this art yes this is a very important question and actually uh, i want to tell you uh, there is many studies was already done all over the world about the uh, Ar arabesque units what is the effect on your health and your mood? They find that it is, you find that you have uh, safety and you find your eyes uh, is, uh, uh, have uh, uh, refuse of all uh, aggression and you find that you are happy. Why? Because of geometrical repetition of the circle and the square and the uh, uh, different uh, using of flowers and, and using the leaves. So all of this, it is a give extension for the attendant, which you see that is, this is the first. Second, uh, we have a projects with the different colleges in Egypt here of the handicapped. And uh, if they have uh, improved their mood and improve their uh, 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 medical uh, status, of course, and uh, there is. I think that there is many studies was already done in Europe, and they are making groups, groups to visit the um, uh, windows which has uh, drawing, and uh, the, uh, the 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 lights which it is coming them. They are using this as a light uh, uh, therapy. And also they can combine with the musical therapy, so they can combine. So arabesque and mashrabiyah, it has a very good rule and a golden rule for uh, the treating and uh, improve and helping the handicapped people. I, I want to ask you, Dr. Uh, Adib, uh, about uh, art and art. I mean, cinema, uh, movies, uh, uh, drama and, um, and arabesque. Uh, there, there have been m many works that portrayed uh, artists, arabesque artists, 
perhaps none more famous than Hassan Arabesque, Salah al sadanis masterpiece, really. Mm -hmm. So how important, uh, who, who, who portrayed um, the role of an artist who inherited this um, uh, art from his grand-grand-grandfather and still continues to perfect it, how important are such works uh, yeah. in, um, again, uh, preserving our, uh, in going back to our roots and preserving our identity and keeping this, uh, this art? This is a very important golden stone uh, in the, our drama and about our identity. Uh, that, as you said, that the Saadani and the Musalsal of Mashrabiya and all of that. This is an important, yes, of course, this is important of our identity, our Egyptian identity and about our land identity. If you are putting this in the background and in decoration, internal decoration, and in uh, your drama, this is not only that you are giving a very nice and attractive drama, but also it will keep our identity as Egyptian identity and the Islamic and the Arabic identity. This is which is a very extension in our background uh, to keep it forever for all generations. Um, Dr. Mohammed Arabesque um, in general, uh, do people nowadays like it to be in their homes? In home, yes, of course. Uh, this is a very important question, is if we can use this as arabesque in modern mm. uh, uh, interior and in modern uh, uh, walls and all of, of course. Because How can we use creativity. it in modern? Yes, yes, you have a very important point. We have this is creativity in our ceramic and we have many uh, companies here uh, without mentioning their names, they are using the uh, ceramic and uh, in our uh, buildings and all of that and our uh, faces in the gardens and all of that. This is the first, second in faces of hotel and faces of villages, mm. which it is a very important. This is what we need for our generation and for universities that we are extension our arabesque art uh, for modernization and the creativity for the buildings and the wall for all generations. Yes, Dr. Adib and, and you're the head of the Egyptian Association for Arabesque and, and Mashrabeyas. Uh, obviously, um, this art uses the finest types of wood. There is. Um, we understand also that there are health benefits behind uh, like having mashrabiyas at home or, or so on. Can, can we talk to us about this f environment friendly, if we can say, a dimension of uh, mashrabiyas, for instance? Uh, we talked this before in uh, previous uh, times about the mashrabiya. If you look for here in our museum, you find a mashrabiya, uh, uh, but it is modern. Uh, they are making facing on the building outside. So uh, uh, also in Ain Sukhna, uh, also in our beaches in Galala and all of this, they are using the mashrabiya outside the building and they also in many hotels, they using inside. So the, the arabesque, it is, can be used a wooden, not only the ceramic and the walls mm. and all mm. of them. So, which I want to build what you said, uh, that we can use this in modernization and the creativity with keeping of our Egyptian and Arabic identity. Great, sir. This brings us to another question, which is, um, uh, what are the techniques that uh, are used to make uh, them today? Are they traditional techniques or new techniques? Very important question. Mm. Very important question. Mm. Uh, you find there is many competition about our uh, design and about uh, our graphic. She raised a very uh, important question, and that is why you find the Chinese and the China and uh, some uh, other countries, they are making competition of arabesque, of our goods and our handicap, hand, handicraft, huh? okay? And our ceramic and the buildings. Mm using the modernization and the modern technique. So this is what we are using also here. And uh, uh, one of the recommendation that we, we want to use the arabesque with the modern graphic designer. 
and this is present in our applied uh, colleges, present in art colleges, and we are pushing our young people to study more how they are making the graphic. Beside that, of course, is the modernization and the modern technique of the graphic and printing, whether in the clothes or uh, ceramic and all of that, they are using the modern technique for application and for production. So this is a very important thing, but keeping in our mind our Egyptian identity, Islamic identity, and Arab identity. And sometimes, Dr. Adib, uh, maybe, uh, um, and probably, um, you know, even the, the most updated technological means will not um, bring this great fine pieces of art that, that were done like uh, 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 hundreds of, uh, of years ago. It seemed as if these great artists uh, were advanced technologically. <laughs> they, they had, you know, supreme technological uh, advancement, uh, advances, or at, at least they were using tools that were so precise. So, so can we say that um, even if we use the most advanced technologies, we will probably not be able to match the great art that was produced. This is a very important uh, point. Uh, you find the place here. I um, usually uh, have not only the customer, but I'm usually making many activity of our uh, Egyptian society of Arabesca and Mashrabiya uh, here. And we said later, just, just after, after five minutes, what is the uh, eighth uh, me, uh, annual meeting? But uh, before in the seventh meeting or previous years, they are making some sort of trips here inside the uh, to the uh, art colleges, to the uh, um, different uh, students, even the uh, secondary schools and uh, pr uh, primary school, all of this. Why? Because if you are looking for the different decoration, of course, this is, will be, have a part in the brain and the heart. So once he will be graduated, so he will be add and uh, uh, using the different techniques, but keeping in our mind that we have our identity, our Egyptian identity, and our uh, uh, Arab and Islam. Uh, yes, old civilization. Sir, so where is it? Where? Um, what are the regions in Egypt where Islamic, um, of course, monuments uh, are? Uh, uh, most uh, concentrated, where we can, we can find Islamic monuments most concentrated? Monument? Are, arabesque. Uh, uh, where we can find? Yes. Yes, of course. The plenty, can... plenty arabesque. Yeah. Uh, and the, the old places, of course, you find this is in I'm many saying. museums. Whether this is an Islamic Yes, this is museum one museum, and other places. Coptic museum, and you find uh, uh, um, there is a uh, research which was uh, putting in our mind if the Egyptian uh, um, pharaonic uh, decoration has an extension, of course, because the Egyptian uh, artist, our old civilization, our old civilization, they are using the plant and the repetition on the temples, all of this. So it has, of course, some sort of link of our identity of uh, not only uh, in our Islamic and uh, our Arabic uh, 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 identity. Uh, I want to add a very important point for most of you when you ask me about uh, this is how we can extension our, uh, for our young peoples and for our uh, manufacturers about our Egyptian handicraft. Mm. Because this is an, uh, a very important point, and this is uh, 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 giving the encouragement of our president, mm. uh, Abdel Fattah Sisi, our president, uh, to give more enrich for our uh, handicraft. We are using this handicraft with the Arabesque and the small decoration, which they can present on leathers and bags and shoes, uh, in clothes uh, and printing of all of clothes, not only of that of the ceramic, which they are can using in the buildings and mm. all of that. So 
uh, the application of uh, the big scale of arabesque it is can be used in modernization with keeping of our uh, egyptian identity and arabic identity you know dr adib uh, you kept mentioning the egyptian the arab and the islamic identities i want to ask uh, if there is a link between uh, from a scholar like yourself in this um, an expert in this field if there is a link between uh, uh, Egypt's or, or, or the Arab or Islamic arabesque and Africa and if so what is that uh, link I mean arabesque and Africa's uh, this is a very identity. important uh, gold stone of course because this is the policy of our government and our president uh, for extension and the coming link with the Africa art this is a very important. Uh, you know that from the history, we our Islamic civilization is not extend to only the European. It is extension also to Africa. If they are affect, of course there is effect in mm. Ethiopia, in in Ganub Africa, and in uh, part. Of course they will add because uh, you know the life in Africa people. It has uh, an uh, uh, looking for the trees and looking for the animals and looking for the Nature, flowers. Yeah. So I am sure what you said that uh, African art and Arabesque art, it have a very good link. And I think that there is uh, extension of uh, uh, these uh, many exhibitions of use. How do, how do we protect this art, sir, and um, how is it endangered? Of course, the protection, it is not uh, going through one tool or two tool or three tool. It is a governmental uh, uh, policy and also from our social and the colleges and the universities. And I am sure uh, the policy here in Egypt is uh, putting this art in our uh, education and the art uh, uh, college and applied art college and they are encouraging them uh, to have uh, many researches and uh, for uh, many production of handicraft and uh, giving their projects especially that at the time of corona now we have a uh, video conference and uh, we have interlink so interlink and the researchers will give more for our uh, Egyptian identity, for Arabesque and uh, Mashrabi. Not only of that, uh, it has also of our uh, extension. You know that we have already uh, six, uh, uh, we have already seven uh, annual meeting. Which it is done here since one year. We are uh, uh, aiming to have an eighth meeting. It is a very, very important title. We are using the beauty of architecture and decoration in all the Cairo and this is our program and I think that this is culture and uh, uh, tourism uh, uh, policy uh, about this year 2020 so we are applying here meeting in this uh, place still we are planning for in the future but it will be have a mini participation of art college, applied uh, college, about the manufacturers of mini company of the ceramic, uh, ceramic and buildings and uh, uh, ground and uh, uh, also the uh, carpets, which you find and in the sagoon and the clothes. All of this is very important when you are putting the arabesque and applied arabesque on this with keeping of our Egyptian and Arabic identity. Indeed, uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Adib, we understand that Ka Cairo has been chosen as the capital of Islamic culture yes. by the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, the, the, yes. the OIC, for the year 2020. Corona, of course, the, the uh, cursed COVID-19 pandemic has derailed or affected or delayed the preparations maybe forcefully uh, for this big um, uh, you know, celebration or festival. But tell us, what should we expect now that, uh, thank God, we are you know, doing much, much better and, 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 and beating the, the, the pandemic? I'm sure that it is already started already. 
uh, especially in the researches of applied art and tourist uh, college, uh, colleges and all, they are giving many subjects for the students. This is a very important point which you said. All of the points here in today, which you are raised you and our colleague, uh, through the internet and about the video conferences of other universities. You know the arabesque and the mashrabiya, I visit many countries outside, in China, France, England, all of this, uh, Spain, all of this. This is arabesque and mashrabiya, it is present in the museums and present in all places. Here, this place, usually they are meeting, uh, uh, regularly visiting the students, not only the college students, also the secondary school, primary school, all of this is very important. Why? Because his eyes and his brain, all of this is building the, our personality, our Egyptian personality, our European uh, personality, and we uh, have like that, we are love our Egypt and love our land. The, um, Dr. Mohamed Adib, uh, before we end uh, our final uh, question, sir, is you're a doctor that you practice, um, uh, you practice, of course, your job, right? The relationship between you being a doctor and arabesque and being a member. Uh, I, told you, I told you this before. Yes, you did tell me, but you, were, <coughs> but you, 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 to, you told I, me I in a different way. Before, but, uh, you you did not tell me the direct relations. Uh, we usually uh, have I'm sure there are a lot of relations. Yeah. No, no, no. They both include art. This is a very, very important question. Yeah. And actually, I, uh, I, know, I know that there is some researchers that is present in Europe and many universities outside. They are taking the uh, handicapped people. When I was in Vienna in uh, 2014, I was uh, uh, visit uh, some of the churches. And they are using not the visiting the st these uh, handicapped people. They are taking the groups and they are listening to the musical during the visiting the church. So I took I talked to the uh, 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 the leader. I told him what he said. We are combining the toes, visual and the art therapy and the, the musical medical. therapy. Mm -hmm. So this is a very very important how we can uh, put the projects for our handicapped people. Also, this is a very important. We can encourage that our students, uh, as we looking here in this Egyptian museum, uh, for visiting the museums, our the landmarks and all that. This is the very important, yes, it is very important, against terrorism. And against that we to are the thinking the extremity our, of our land and nativity and our personality. So I think that this is a very important and we are keeping this in our uh, uh, identity, we are proud uh, that we have, we are Egyptian and we are uh, proud that we are from the Arabian land uh, uh, looking for uh, what our uh, grandfather and our grand grand civilization are building up. Dr. Mohammed, this time you answered my question uh, the way I needed you to answer because last time it was different. But anyway, uh, both sides, uh, both answers were of great and informative knowledge Absolutely. for our program and always Just your Just like all of your, uh, yes, uh, all of your uh, inputs, all, uh, uh, sir. I mean, it's been a great pleasure. Uh, yes, Dr. 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 Mohamed Adib, the uh, head of the Egyptian I have Association the and for Arab and uh, The pleasure uh, and, and the pride is ours, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, Thank Dr. you very much. Uh, Thank you so much, Dr. Mohamed Adib, uh, head of the Egyptian Association for Arabesque and Mashrabiya, for joining us in today's episode Thank of Narcos. Dear, uh, dear viewers, this was the segment. Uh, stay with us. For yet, we have more from the Islamic Museum in Cairo. Stay with us and don't go away.